Hello fellow knights, this is OG from Crypto Knights, back with another cryptocurrency video. As always, we will start with Bitcoin, look at Ethereum, some of the altcoins, and also a quick look at the S&P 500, just to see what the traditional markets are doing. Again, as always, if you appreciate these videos, please do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so that you can get timely trade videos. With that said, let's dive right in. So, First things first, on Bitcoin, there are a few setups that could be potentially forming. The most immediate one is a potential double bottom here. So if we draw this potential W double bottom here, then we have a neckline at roughly 34,000. So this is bottom, potential double bottom. The reason why I use the word potential is because this will only be confirmed once price breaks above 34,000. And if it does with strong volume, then I'll be looking to put into a long position on Bitcoin. That said, there are two other setups that I'm looking for. One, if we get rejected up here, so, so let's say we break 34K, but it, with a very low volume right very weak volume then i'm looking for a potential short upon rejection at the 200 ma's right so in this range of about 34 let's call it 34.5 34.6k right so if it comes up here and then gets rejected then i'm looking for a potential short so that's setup number two setup number three is if we don't come back up here if price actually starts to fall and goes below this low here which will invalidate this double bottom before it forms then in which case i'll be looking for a potential long down here at the 61.8 fibonacci retracement which is around 31.7 thousand so something along the lines of this right and looking for a long in this area so three potential setups on bitcoin with the most immediate one being a break above 34,000 for a potential scalp long. With, but keeping in mind though, right, if we are taking a long here, that we really need strong volume because we do have the 200 period moving averages right overhead as potential resistance, right? So we really want to make sure that we are entering with enough volume and momentum such that we think this wouldn't pose a problem because the last thing we want to do is enter here and then get rejected right back down right because this is not really going to be a lot of room for profits right so we want to see that there's enough volume for us to have the conviction that price will most likely break through um, and therefore giving us room for taking a lot of profits on this trade it's looking like bitcoin is slightly rallying uh, as I'm, I'm recording this so let's see right so maybe in the next uh, 15 minutes or an you know, hour or so we might get this breakout so this is you know this is another reason why you need to subscribe because sometimes these opportunities come you know within an hour of me posting this video right or even shorter so if you are not subscribed by the time you see this video the trade might already be over right entry might already be over so this is why it's important to subscribe and turn on the bell notification um, also, you know, important for you to join our Discord channel in uh, you know where these updates are posted live as well. Now, moving on to Ethereum, let's zoom out to the one hour. So, what we see on Ethereum right, is we had this double bottom here with a breakout at 1900. We had a nice rally. And now we are coming back to retest the 200 MAs. And this is the first test, right? And as I always mentioned in my videos, the first retest of the 200 MAs typically leads to a bounce, right? Sometimes it's you know, a huge leg up. Sometimes it's just a very slight decap bounce, but typically there is a bounce. So we're kind of seeing that right now, but we don't have the volume that I will be looking for in order to take a long here, right? So, you know, while you could take a long here, there's, you know, the fact that the volume is very low um, leads me to question how much you know, momentum there would be, right? So I'm personally holding off 
but this is typically where there would be some sort of bounce. And we're already seeing a slight bounce, right? This is already a 3.5% you know, bounce. All right, so the question is, is there enough momentum for us to have a much larger move? So I'm waiting for volume to come in before I make a final decision. Now, let's look at the Ethereum Bitcoin pair. Yesterday, I mentioned that, right, in my video yesterday, that Ethereum Bitcoin was trading within this zone, right, this horizontal consolidation zone with you know, support here and then resistance here. And if we were to break out on either side, then it would be a good place for a long or a short. And in fact, we did break out right here. And this led to a 5.5% you know, uh, potential profit, right? And this happened, I believe, very soon after I posted yesterday's video, right? Again, having the importance of subscribing and to make sure that you get these videos as soon as they come out, just in case, um, you know, you don't miss on, on any of these potential trades. Now, what we're really looking for is there's a potential for price to come back down here, right, for a retest and a bounce. Um, and if not, then what we're looking for is, again, the idea of the 200 MAs, we're looking for a potential uh, bounce for if price comes down here, right, as the first retest of the 200 MAs. But price might bounce here, so we will be monitoring. So in fact, I'm going to do this. I'm going to set my alert higher to this level to look for a potential long trade here. Now moving on to some altcoins. Let's look at Cardano, ADA, USDT. What we're seeing is there's a potential for a double bottom here, right? A W like this. So this is the first bottom. This is the potential double bottom. Neckline is at one, let's call it 140, right? So if price, Again, if price breaks above 140 with strong volume, then I'm looking to put in a long position here. Again, right? I think you know, as I see in some of the comments I'm getting, um, some people are saying, you know, you, you know, this trade failed. You know, it didn't go up. That's not how this works, right? It's a if-then sort of condition, right? So if price breaks this, then we're going to take a long. If price doesn't break this level with strong volume, then we don't. Then it's not a valid confirmation is not a valid trade, right? So if price, you know, does this, right? This is not, this trade failed. There was no trade in the beginning. So I hope you guys understand what, you know, understand that concept, right? There's only a trade upon confirmation. We are, the reason why I'm sharing these potential setups because then you can prepare yourself if that, you know, condition is met. If, if I wait until, it's already met to post an update, then it will already be too late for you guys to do anything about it, right? And so this is why I'm posting potential trade, trade setups so that you can prepare yourself in case if A happens, you do B, right? That's how I want to set these, you know, to set up these videos. So hope that's clear. Now, let's move on to Binance Coin. So actually today we're seeing a lot of the major altcoins being a similar pattern and potentially also forming these double bottoms, right? So same thing as on Cardano, we're seeing on um, Binance Coin, right? Here's the first bottom, potential double bottom here, neckline at 305, 306, let's call it. So if break price breaks above 306 with strong volume, then potential long here. But again, not doing anything right now, right? So don't look at this as a, you know, don't enter here thinking that this is a better price than here because the probability of this going higher, once price breaks above this point, it's much higher than if, you know, you enter long here because there's no confirmation yet. So, you know, I'm waiting patiently for this to happen. If this happens, I'll take a long. If not, then I'll wait for the next opportunity. Polkadot is in the same situation, I think, when we look. Yes. So again, right, potential level bottom. Here's the first one. Here's the potential second one. And the neckline of this is at, it's called 16.45, right? 
16.45. So again, if price breaks above this point with strong volume, then we're going to take, take a long. If price breaks below this, let's call it 15.10, right? With, you know, below 15, let's call it, then this would be invalidated in my point of view, right? There might be some other pattern that will form, but in terms of this double bottom, then in my view, it would be invalidated and I wouldn't be looking for a long anymore. Let's look at chain link. Link, let's see what's on. So for link, what we actually have is, seems to be in this parallel channel. Right, if we have this, put this up like this. Right, first touch, second touch. Right, first touch here, second touch here, third touch here, right? And then on the downside, here's the first touch, here's the second touch. And so what we're waiting for, right, is if price comes down to this bottom of this trend line, then we could potentially look for a long, right? Because there was, would be the first retest or the first test of this support, right? The same way that price got rejected here upon the first test of this resistance, we could potentially expect the same thing to happen if price were to come down here. Again, we were always we're always looking for confirmation, right? We're looking for candlestick, price action, volume, you know, MACD, RSI. So we're looking for these confirmations. But at least we want to know in which what area we want to look for these confirmations, right? We the first thing is we need to find out the areas where we were looking for a potential trade. Then we look for confirmation signals to enter, right? So it's you've got to look at both. Let's look at reaching. So reaching similarly, right? Here's a potential double bottom forming and at 200 MAs, right? So this is extra confirmation, right? So if this does break out, we'll have extra confidence that it would rally because we have you know, this formation is formed at the support, right? But again, this, let's call it at 91, nine, 0.15 cents, right? So this region here. So if we if price breaks above, then I'm looking for a long. If price, you know, breaks this low, then I'm not looking for a long anymore. I'll be reevaluating this um, market setup. And lastly, let's look at Ripple, right? Let's look at XRP. So same thing, same story, right? Here we're, we're at 200 MAs as potential support. We're potentially forming this double bottom pattern. Neckline is at 70 cents, right? 70, uh, yeah, roughly, right? Roughly 70 cents, right? If price breaks above, then we're looking for a, a long here, right? So on a lot of these pairs we're seeing today, um, we're, all of them are forming this potential double bottom pattern. So another thing is, you know, if we see some of these, some of these break out, we want to look at some of the other pairs to see if they are confirming, right? To see if they are also breaking out. The the more pairs that are all breaking out, the more confidence we have in that mood because it shows that the overall markets are rallying rather than just one one or two pairs in isolation, right? We want to have the macro, um, you know, overall markets moving in the direction that we want to trade in, right? So that gives us extra confidence that the run is real and that there's real momentum and volume and conviction behind the move. Lastly, let's look at the S&P 500, right? Traditional markets also play a role in, uh, in crypto, right? If, right? if traditional markets collapse, then chances are Bitcoin wouldn't be doing too well either, right? So this was something that we, we were looking at um, I think last week posted a chart, right? Something like this, where we were testing this bottom of this trend line, right? So this this is where I posted, you know, we want to see price bounce here. If we close below this level, then chances are we will see some sort of correction, um, which wouldn't be good. So far, though, we have bounced off. And in fact, we broke this prior all-time high, and we are rallying. To, to the upside. So, so far, at least on for traditional markets, 
we don't see any immediate signs of concern that would spill over into crypto. So let's focus on crypto until you know, if price comes back down to retest the trend line, then you know once again we need to pay attention, right? Because we don't want a major correction in the traditional stock market that typically would be bad for crypto as well. So that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys for, for listening till till the end. And again, right, the most immediate potential trade is this break above 34k on, on Bitcoin, which might happen in the next hour or so if um, you know if price does continue to go up here. Thank you guys for, for listening. And again, if you appreciate these videos, please do give this video a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, um, and subscribe. Thank you guys and see you in the next one. OG out.